talk about Quinn's Quinn and kind of his development. I don't think a lot of people thought he'd be third on the team in tackles and, and what he's been able to do on the field. And what do you see in his game that you like? Um, the main thing I like about Quinn is that, is that uh, he's real physical. He's probably uh, you know one of the most physical players that have on the team. You know, and, uh, he's coming along. You know, middle from, from a middle step, he's coming along well. Ronnie, I know you guys are like focused on stopping everybody all the time, but I mean, is there any extra emphasis because of what the offense has gone through between, you know, Connor being a young starter, now Brandon Wilds taking over running back for Marcus? Does the defense like take any more on his shoulders now? Well I, mean, well, I mean, obviously, you know, we are going to have to step it up a little bit, you know, because, you know, we lost Marcus, but, you know, we are going to persevere going through this, you know. You know um, but in terms of the team, you know, is uh, how well. Is how well they excel through adversity. You know, and, um, we plan on excelling real well part of the season. Okay. I'm guessing that was kind of the theme of the, the players only meeting. Is that kind of what you guys made sure to emphasize, especially for the younger guys? Yeah, it's pretty much, you know, it's all on our shoulders right now. You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, we had the coaches, but you know, as far as us playing and wanting to execute, it's on us. So, you know, as of right now, you know, we control our own destiny. So, you know, in order for us to go out there and do that, we have to come together as a team. Was that players meeting Monday or earlier today? And who call, who calls something like that? Captain seniors? Uh, pretty much, yes, the captain of seniors, and it was yesterday. And Rodney, that was more just motivational rehash. It wasn't like to sort out any kind of problems or anything. No, no, it wasn't like that. You know, we were just coming together, you know, and just speaking on what we need to do in order to win this year. That was, that was the main emphasis. Yeah, so many of your teammates have said they're not looking what to what George does. How do you keep, is it natural to think about what they're doing? Or is it something you guys just completely block out? Well, they say we can't focus on what other people do and how other people react. It's all about us and what we do. Like I said, we control our own destiny. You know what I mean? We can't stay focusing on, okay, what's the what's single do, what's single do. And if we got to focus on ourselves, in order for us to win this lead, we have to make sure ourselves are straight. We have to make sure actually our kitchen is done, everything is done from our, from our standpoint. You've heard some good things about um, Brandon. What what makes him uh, a good running back, and what makes you hopeful that he's going to do a good job filling in for Marcus? Well, I mean, so Brandon is good, best, best, especially that he's a freshman, you know, coming in. You know, he's actually um, he's he's done real well from a freshman standpoint, you know. But I mean, he's a big bat, you know. He's, he's he can run. He's elusive, you know, and he's he's pretty similar to Marcus in ways, you know. Obviously, you know, he's not Marcus at this point, you know, but in his near future, he will be great. Thanks, Ronnie.